case it is Tess Gordy's Miss Faith Stone. Faith is representing volleyball. Faith also participates in track, FCA, Christian Club, Young Republican Club, Skills USA, Native American Club, Psychology Club, and National Honor Society. Faith will attend Oklahoma State University and gain a degree in marketing. Faith is, is the daughter of BJ and Christy Stone and Craig and Jared Martell. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your 2020 Homecoming Court. Please give them a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to recognize and thank our sponsor, In the Sun. And now, the 2020 Claremore High School Homecoming King is Brooks Cheryl. And the 2020 Claremore High School Homecoming Queen is Faith Stone. Congratulations to all of our students contributing and representing Claremore High School. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please rise and join Claremore Public School for the presentation of our nation's colors and the play of our national anthem. Good evening, fans, and welcome to Friday Night Football here at Beautiful Into Field. And tonight's homecoming contest, hitting the Chargers of the Rangers of Tulsa Hale against your Claremont Tigers. Folks, I've just been told that there are lots of t-shirts, hoodies, and other homecoming logs down at the West End by the concession.
captains for tonight's homecoming contest. Number four, Brooks Sherrill. Number 22, Bo Parson. And number 69, Hayden Spurlock. Schools want to thank Waterburger for being a corporate sponsor of Zebra Athletics. Try the all fresh, all new Waterburger Pick It A Guy Burger. Available for a limited time. From our kitchen to your front door, Waterburger Delivery is here. Just download the app or go to waterburger.com today.
folks, are you ready for some Friday night homecoming football? Let's go ahead and get warmed up. Everybody, get on your feet. Here at homecoming. Here come your Clemmore's Eagles. Welcome, Zebra fans, to Lanto Field. Dave Jones is gone this evening. He's gone to a retreat with his high school buddies to play some golf, something they do every year. Of course, he had shoulder surgery a few weeks ago, so I don't know how much golf he's getting in, but uh, he's gone tonight, and uh, who I've uh, kind of uh, twisted his arm to join me tonight is Matt Mason. Zebras are set to kick off here against the Hell Rangers who are winless this season. And the football has uh, blown off the tee. We've got a strong north wind tonight. Uh, set to kick off is number three, Hunter Woods. Uh, thanks for joining me tonight, Mr. Mason. Glad to be here. Big, big high school football fan. The boys play football for the Zebras. And uh, nothing I'd rather be doing. Um... Hell Rangers only have 20 dressed out tonight. They're winless for the season. Um, Zebras should take care of business tonight, but you always got to tee them up. You got to play them. Woods' kick is fielded there at about the 12-yard line, brought down by a host of Zebras. Number two, Aiden Stimson. Yeah. Right around about the 20-yard uh, line. Aiden Stimson, I believe, was there first. Um, looks like they spotted the ball right at the 20. Defensive line there, Matt. We've got uh, Sego at an end. We've got uh, Seth Bell at the other end. we got Mr. Blake Bacon at a defensive line. Looks like number 65 there in the middle. Justin Knapp. Justin Knapp. Oh, Looks like, like a little trick play there. The quarterback is swarmed under. First one to get there for Claremore. Number 243, BK Sego. Sego got there first. Looks like they hit it off and turn around and pitch line. back to the quarterback. One to throw it deep. Brings up second down and long. 19 for the Rangers. Nice defensive play there. Looked like we had a little extracurricular activity there by number 51 for the Rangers. Uh, uh, Levi Palmer had one of our linebackers on his back and fumbled on the play. We had a fumble on the play. Zebras say we have it. Uh, looks like number 66 there. It's 65 uh, on oh, Nap. 65, Nap had the ball. Very good. Zebras will take up first and 10 at the nine yard line. Brings up Cutsinger uh, as quarterback here at the nine yard line. Coronado back in action again this week after missing last week is in the backfield. Coronado over the right side. He goes in and that is a Bank first. That is a bank touchdown, first. Zebra. zebra touchdown. Woo. First play, nine yards out. Zebra score. <laughs> really went in pretty much uh, without much pressure. Over the right side, pretty pretty well blocked. 
Wood set to kick the extra point. Kick is down, or ball is down, kick is good. Wood's kick is good. Not much time on the clock. 10.46 left. One play. Matt, it may be a long night for both teams. Yeah. If we uh, score that easily. This is a game where everybody gets a little playing time, though. Yes. Whataburger will donate a portion of all sales to the Claremore Public Schools Foundation. Yes, I'm not for sure where Mr. Jones went, but I know he had surgery just a few weeks ago uh, on his shoulder uh, to repair a tendon, and he's gone to play some golf, so I don't know how that works out. Um, <laughs> He's maybe pr he's probably driving a cart. Yeah, maybe he can text and tell us that. I, I don't know, but uh, we're glad you can join us tonight. Kind of a chilly night here. Wind out of the north. Temperatures about 50 degrees, 48 degrees. 45. 45 now. Dropped a little colder. Kick goes down to about the 13-yard line. Fielded by number 25 there. He brings it out over the 25-yard line. Looks like he's brought he's down there down by number 46. 46, which is uh, Hayden Ditch. And number uh, 20, Tegan Panther. And Tegan Panther. And the ball Cortland carrier was Cortland Low for the Rangers. Brings up first and 10 from their own 26-yard line. Looks like we got Ethan Grimmett at a linebacker. Reed Brazel at an outside backer. Quarterback straight up the middle. He's tackled there by Grimmett. Um, looks like a couple others there. Bacon. Bacon, 55 for maybe a gain of one. Keeps it himself. Bring up second down and nine one. for the Rangers. We'll just... Uh, Rangers will face second down and They're nine. They're still negative yards total. Yes. Seven seconds left on the play clock. Double twins. Oh, oh quarterback went the wrong, opened up the wrong way, ball, fumbled ball, the ball, ball again. Ball. He's going to call him down. Uh, again, maybe a loss of one. Low. Loss of one or two, depend on the spot. Right Court and low again on the carry. Quarterback opened up the wrong way. He almost pitched it to air. He either went the wrong way or the running back went the wrong way. One of the two. Uh, brings up third down and 10 for the Rangers. That was close to being a fumble. Again, we got twins to the top and twins to the bottom. Uh, one back in the backfield. Looks like we're, Looks like we're bringing the house. Yeah. Uh, we brought uh, number 33 there, which is uh, Riley Hoke. Uh, got there first, I think. A loss of about seven or eight. Uh, Deep Brings up fourth right. down. Going back for the apparent call, like fourth down four. and about 17. Brooke Sherrill back deep for the Zebras. This may be something they've had to do a lot, Mr. Mason. So, uh, well, hopefully, this is the first of many punts tonight. He's not very deep. Nope, nope, it's blocked. Oh, my. Not very deep, not much blocking up front. Number seven, number two. Making the stop on the punter. David Hoagland. First one there. Oh, yeah. Mr. David Hoagland making a good play there. You know, uh, when I coached, when I knew it wasn't going to be very good, this is one specialty team that I worked extra hard on. Because this is one you know is going to happen a lot. Uh, again, Zebras take over. At about the 12-yard line, great field position. 
pass out to Brooke Sherrill, Sherrill he takes and it he in. takes it in for the score. And that's another bank first. Touchdown. Zebra, touchdown. Zebra touchdown. Yeah, right there. <laughs> We're two for two. You got the Matt. right bank that time. Yeah, I got the right bank finally. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, two plays, two touchdowns. We're averaging pretty good there. Uh, one nine-yard drive and one 12-yard drive. 8-10 to go. The kick is good. Mercy. 8-10 to go in the first quarter. Zebra's up 14-0. to zero. So, so the wind's blowing out of the north pretty hard. And I know they're going east to west, but I, I just wonder how the wind plays down there on the field. Well, you know, the extra point, both of them have been through pretty good. Uh, our kick has went down to the, I don't know, inside the 15 both times. Uh, I'd, I'd look for uh, maybe scarves blowing in the visitor stands, but. This time we're kicking from left to right. This one may carry on out of bounds if we're not careful. Woods' kick is uh, being held there by Young, number 14. From the left hash, he kicked it straight down the hash, down to about the six. Is that number two? Number 25. Number 25 being on the tackle. Number 25. Aiden Stimson on the tackle. Number two. Number two. Number 25 yeah. for uh, the Rangers. Yeah. Low, that's her running back. Nice tackle there by Stimson. At about the 18 yard line. Well, let's see if we can get some positive yardage. Number 88 out there for us, uh, Dalton Mora, got an outside linebacker. Looked like motion on yep. the Hell Rangers. Yep. Looked like it's going to back them up five. Yes, that's a case. Ryan Connor out there at free safety. Brooke Sherrill to corner. Start against the Rangers. Other corner out there, number 12. Uh, that's uh, Larry Wisenhunt. Uh, timeout. Rangers got timeout. Timeout. Charge. Charge to the Tulsa Rangers. Hey, man, don't forget on Tuesday, October 27th. At this time, we'll we'll take a commercial break from one of our sponsors. RCB Bank is a community bank. We don't just sponsor events. We participate. We are sensitive to the needs of our community, and we respond accordingly. We serve communities all around Kansas and Oklahoma and have been doing so since 1936. If you already bank with us, you know the benefits of having your local bank right next door. Our CB Bank is dedicated to not just sponsoring events, but participating and growing them for the benefit of the community. Open an account with us to see why so many people are saying, RCB Bank, that's my bank. Welcome back. Rangers got first and 15. Looks like a run right up the middle. Several zebras there to meet them at the line or behind the line. Yeah, Just not much blocking going on. Low. Um, Look like Bell and Low there, or Low on the carry, but Bell on the tackle, uh, along with a couple others. We're bringing in number 72 on offensive line. He's 6'5", 290. Daniel Edwards for the Rangers. Brings up uh, second down and a lot. I don't think they've gotten a pass off yet. There, yeah, they got it off right there. They got a screen. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Get him, Cheryl. Screen pass to low. He breaks through. Cheryl runs him down. Best offensive play for the Rangers. Goes about, I don't know, how's it, 50, 60 yards? Ten, about 50 yards, 52 yards, something like that. Um, 
We had a couple read it, but just read it a step late. He was able to squirt through on the screen play. Best play by far that they've had. The only positive play, really, they've had by far. Gives the Rangers a little bit of life. Low over the left side. Tackled there by several zebras. Looked like zebras got up. A hoke on the tackle. Looked like several zebras um, there to meet him for a gain of about three. One's, one of the zebra had the football, so I don't know. I guess it was not a fumble. Second and seven. We got the umpire here in the middle. He's making one of ours come out. Maybe he has a little blood on him or something. Nap, making Nap come out. He's got an elbow, got a little blood or something. Here comes Keo Penn back in. The game at a defensive tackle. Second and seven. Screen Same again. Screen. Yep. Same play again. Yeah. Whoops. He goes for a positive gain again. Got a first down. We had uh, 33 there. Riley Hoke trying to pull him down. First down. Instead of wrapping him up. Enough for a first down. That was uh, completed to Bailey, number five. They go back to that play, Matt. I, I, be, I bet we'll see that play again. <laughs> yes. We got twins at the top and twins at the bottom. One back in the backfield shotgun formation here for the quarterback. He hands it off over left tackle is where he takes it. Again for a positive gain. Rangers Rangers got a little bit of life here. Bacon on the tackle. Number 25, low. Um, They're putting a little drive together. Yes, putting a little drive together. That, uh, that screen, pay, screen play for 52 yards gave them a little bit of life here. Brings up second down and about six for the Rangers. Quarterback. Quarterback up the middle. He's brought down there by third, 43. Now that's uh, Sego. Nice defensive play there by Sego. Very short game by the quarterback. Quarterback, what's number nine, Lancaster? I forgot to look at his number. I think number 12. Number 12. I'll let you say that one. Penske? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, P E. T S C H E Petsky. I don't know. Uh, big third down here for the Rangers. It looks like they may be in four down territory. They call it their second time out of the half. 422 to go in the half. Screen play went for 52 yards. About two plays later they go for it again and got enough for a first down. Now I I, I think the quarterback is number 18. 18? Yeah, Caballero. 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 That reminds me of a Mexican restaurant there over in Sandy First Street. It's pretty good. Um, What's the name of it? Uh, what is it? Uh, you know, it's just down there on the left. From 71st Street. Most Caballeros. Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. That and Ted's. Ted's on 68th and May in Oklahoma City is my favorite. Really? Ted's. That's yeah. original Ted's. In the first oh. It's the best one of the bunch. The hell have the ball. Behind the Arby's on 68th and May, if anybody wants to write that down. <laughs> we got twins at the top and twins at the bottom. Third down. Oh, oh. Fumble on the play. Met right there by Ethan Grimm at first and then a host of zebras. Oh. Nice play the by there by Ethan. I don't think there'll be any gain, maybe even a loss on the play. Fourth down. Fourth down. And it looks like about six. Looks like five. Five may, maybe five. Both Rangers will have fourth down and about five. Long five, maybe. Um, big fourth down right here of Zebras. Uh, I'll be ready for the screen. How about you, Matt? 
I mean, to read the back out of the backfield, that's for sure. Double twin set. They've been in most of the night. Ooh, High playoff, snap, buddy. straight up the middle. Yeah, we got him. It looked like Keo Penn was there first. Yeah. Nice defensive play there. Zebras will take over first and 10. 41, Keo Penn. Seagull, Seagull seems to be out of bounds every play. Yes, he's, he's there. Uh, if he's not there first, he's close. Zebras offense will take over at their own 17 yard line. We got Parsons split to the bottom. We're missing an offensive player. Zebras will take a timeout here. We got a tackle over here. He might be by the hot chocolate. I don't know. Um, Timeout. Might, charge to the zebra. He might have thought he wasn't. We weren't. He wasn't playing offense tonight. I don't know. But uh, that's zebra's first offensive timeout. Our timeout tonight with 3:21 to go in the first quarter. So, so we've had two plays, two touchdowns. Do you, you think it'll be three plays, three touchdowns? I don't think so, but the odds would say yes right now. But uh, what we will, what uh, will Coach Hurt dial up? Uh, you know, I don't know. We are 83 yards away. We run the off tackle play. Well, we run the pass play to Cheryl. It might score. Um, Coronado or Cheryl, either one. If they get loose, they, they were probably won't be caught. Both of them have good speed. Cut singer at quarterback, scout taking over after the uh, injury to our starting quarterback. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the flag. False Legal procedure, false uh -oh. start, brings up first and 15. Yeah, Smallwood, you know, hate to see any kid get hurt. Uh, season ending injury. I know my son got hurt his senior year and fifth game of the year. Um, hate to see it, but boy, it's just life sometimes and sure taught him a lot. Uh, twins at the bottom, one receiver to the top. Wide open. Who up the sidelines. I can't tell who he completed it to. Nice route. That's Brazel. Is that Brazel 21? Brazel. Nice play. It goes from the 17 to the 32, 15 yard gain. Uh, just a play action. Scout Kunzinger rolled out to the top. Nice pass. Uh, good completion. Good run. Coronado. Single back backfield, tight trips to the top. He's back to pass again. Over the middle to oh, Cheryl. On the money. Right on the money. It's going to be a touchdown. Uh, he goes in backwards. No flag on the play. It's pretty pass. Yeah, it's pretty pass right on the money. Right on the money. So it wasn't one play, it was two plays. Hey, and that was a uh, bank first. Touchdown. And Zebra we, touchdown. We forgot to say anything on the first day. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to sleep here. Oh, we did have trouble. a first down. That's our first first down, too. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, uh, yeah, let's retro had a, it. We had an RCB first down there RCB before that. RCB bank first down. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, yeah, we forgot to say that. Um, Going to get me in trouble. Hey, right now we're uh, three for four. <laughs> four plays, three touchdowns. Flag on the play. Woods kick is good. There is a flag. They're off sides. Somebody the over there. Homecoming. They're going to decline it. So it's going to be 21 with 2.57 to go. There goes the RCB Schooner Mobile. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. P pretty cool. You know, they had a homecoming parade today. And that and wasn't in it. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't able to make it. But, usually, it. but usually it is in the parade. Well, you know, uh, I took one of our dogs to the parade today, and I got to Main Street at 3.33, and it had already gone by. So I, I had to speak to the boss. 
Short, quick parade. I can see the, see the end of it. I guess they got lined up and got ready and they went. <laughs> they didn't wait till 3.30, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, I'd be happy to volunteer to drive that next year in the parade. I've done you know. it. I've driven into the parade. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's an electric car. That's pretty cool. Doesn't go very fast. Woods' is kick down the left hash, taken by Lowe at the 20, at 10 yard line, wrapped up there by Brazzle, number oh, 21. Kick. Actually, I think it was Tegan Panther, too. Uh, Panther, 20. That's who it was. 20. I saw 20. I thought it was 21. Nice tackle there by Panther. He brought down by number 48. That's just a great football night. Blake Hovind. Panther. That Panther was on the prowl there. Speaking of Panthers, my shout out to my wife, Jennifer. She was a Clarksville, Arkansas Panther. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. She She's quite a bit younger than you, isn't she? Yep, Rob the Cradle. Oh, um, man. Married young, raised her yeah. upright. Oops, we got movement in the snap. I don't know what kind of snap that was. False start five. on the Rangers. Against the Rangers. It'll be mark off five. First and 15. It'll be first down and 15. Now we've got uh, Young over here at a corner. Uh, Wisenhunt still at the other corner. Connor still at free safety. Um, we got two backs in the backfield sweep at the top. Grimmett. Mm -hmm. Grimmett was there, missed the tackle, but ran him out of bounds. I uh, had to get out of bounds to get by Grimmett. Uh, didn't make a few yards. It's going to bring up second down. Looks like about 11, gain of four. Big shout out to uh, Seth Bell's grandparents who are watching from Texas. Seth Bell's been getting better and better every week. I enjoyed watching that young man get better at an end there. Glad to have you all watching us from Texas. Uh, over the right side, uh, Sego in there, several, several people there on the tackle, Connor, Riley Hope, uh, another gain of about three. Third, down. Third and about eight. For the Rangers. For the Rangers. Is this a money? 214 and counting here in the first quarter. Zebra's up 21 to zero over the Rangers. Naked boot to the top. Got him. Nice play there by six number six. 66, Seth Making Bell. Just number gave a shout out to his grandparents. He must have heard me down there on the field because he made a great play right there. That's awesome. Quarterback yeah. just tried to get out on top of him, and he didn't go for the fake. He stayed home and made the play. Brings up fourth down. Uh, definitely a punting situation, but their punts uh, so far haven't been too too good. They're going for it. Uh, zebras didn't. Uh, yeah, zebras did not uh, change their uh, bring in their punt return team. Quarterback might just back up a little bit and punt it. There you go. That's what he did. Cheryl fields it on the bounce. He runs it up to about the 31. Right there, he meets an offensive lineman, number 74, Andre Bucktrot, 6'4", 285. <clears throat> made the tackle. But Cheryl saved us about 15, 20 yards by fielding the ball. Quarterback just backed up a little, took the snap, backed up a yard or two and punted it. One step punt. Going deep. Oh. Uh oh. Man, that was a bad pass. It went right through his hands. 
Who was that, Young? Yep, my lands that hit him in the bread basket there. Good pass by Cutsinger. Nice Cut ball Singer's by the sophomore quarterback the there. For Young falls incomplete. Brings up second down and ten. Brings up second down and ten. Nope. We got a flag here at the bottom. We got offsides on somebody. We got offsides on Offside. the Rangers. Nope. So it brings Rangers. up second down and five for the Zebras. We'll give a shout out to Grandma Cheryl watching. Uh, Mr. Cheryl's grandma is watching, watching the game tonight on TV. Glad to have her watching. Brooks is split to the left. King Brooks, we're wearing number four tonight. Uh, we got a slant route. Whoops, throwing a little high there by Cutsinger. Thank bad. goodness, safety was right there. It's going to bring up and third down and five. Sales incomplete. Sales incomplete. Also, a shout out to Ricky Hoagland's, uh, excuse me, Jason Hoagland's sister, Cassie who's listening in Kansas. Hey, we got them all over. Texas? We got several states, Texas, Arkansas. You guys are we famous. We got them everywhere. So shout out to Cassie in Texas. Coronado. Coronado over the right side. He's got excellent speed. He's going to be run out of bounds inside the 10 yard lines. And that's Coronado a zebra. RCB bank. First down. First down. <laughs> yeah, we haven't zebra. had too many of those. We've scored too much. There you go. But, Nice run there by Coronado over the right side, broke it out wide and took it up the boundary and almost uh, took it into the end zone. We got first and goal at the nine yard line. Looks like we got a fade route over oh. here to Young. Uh, Young. Falls incomplete, just a little, little underthrown. As tall as Young is, we could have thrown it up higher. I'm getting a lot of feedback here on my headset. I don't know about you all. If you all can hear that at home, but we got unsupervised kids here running up around the top of the bleachers. How tall is Young? Young is about 6'3". Six six three. Three. Pass again, scrambling. Oh. Mm. Had a little pressure that time, had to roll to the right. Pass incomplete. incomplete. Looks like it was to 88. Mora, Dalton Mora. Brings up third and goal from the nine. 23 seconds left to go in the quarter. Yeah, I have to apologize to Cassie. You know, I you don't get to choose your sister-in-law, but hey, you know, having to put up with your sister-in-law, I feel sorry for you. I wouldn't live in Oklahoma either. I'd stay up there in Kansas away from her. <laughs> there There's Coronado over the, over the left tackle, and he runs over somebody as he scores. Nice run, score. nice well blocked, Coronado. That's, a, that's another bank first. Zebra touchdown. And that's the fourth one of the evening. <laughs> Zebras go up 27 to zero. Brings on Wood to kick here. Snap is down and the kick is up and it's good. Wood Folks, Zebras good. lead here 28 to zero. 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. And I really don't see a, 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 a response back from the Rangers. They've only got 20 kids suited up, folks. Um, That's got to be tough. Yeah, it's got to be tough to get them here, you know. And point we talked about before the game here, Matt and I did, is they're not in school. They're long-distance learning. Uh, so they're having to get themselves to and from practice and Sometimes that's hard. Um, um, 
awful hard to get them to and from practice sometimes because a lot of those kids get to to and from school by the bus. So uh, I don't know if that has an effect or not. I don't know, but I know that uh, it's the lowest numbers I've seen from a Tulsa Hell Rangers football team. Uh, Yeah, they, they, uh, I was looking at the scores of the past games, and they've been beat pretty bad every week. Yes. First one there is Brazzle. Brazzle's in there down with Stimson. Uh, gets out over the 24-yard line where the Rangers will take over. Got another Zebra fan here on a text, uh, Paige Henderson. Rangers says she's one of our number one fans. Uh, number one fan, Paige Henderson. We'll give a shout out to her. Uh, thanks for watching us on ZTV. Her and her old honorary mom, Amanda, uh, watching us out there over the TV, probably drinking a cup of hot chocolate there in a warm living room. Uh, that's the end of the first quarter, folks. Um, we'll take a We'll take a break right now for a word from one of our sponsors. One, uh, that completes quarter number one. On the Osage Indians were first to settle these Oklahoma hills, named for an Osage chief which the French traders pronounced Clermont. It then became the Cherokees' new home in Indian territory until settlers arrived and the town was christened Claremore but it would find fame and considerable affection as Will Rogers' hometown. Will said, folks make towns, not numbers, and he surely had Claremore in mind. But we imagine he'd agree that folks, not numbers, also make banks. Now, it's hard to find a bank with better numbers than Bank Firsts, but it's our people who will earn our place in this town. Their mission is to move Claremore forward and never fail to make Will proud. Bank first. Loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Welcome back, folks. Start of the second quarter. Rangers have the ball first and 10. They throw it out to the right, a little slip screen, and he makes about nine or 10 yards. He's really close to the first down. Uh, Zebra's kind of playing a little loose there. Brought down by Cheryl. Looks like he made about nine. Um, I think Ryan Connor is in on that too. And Ryan Connor there as well. Um, referee keeps the clock running, so tackle was in bounds. I'm Dave Groot, joined by Matt Mason tonight. First quarter, Zebras 28, Hell Ranger zero. Woo, high snap. That's a loss on the play. Keo pin. Lewis, 65, back in there, that's Knapp. What's the rule if, if they get up 35-0, is it continuous run clock after that? Uh, I know an eight-man there is a rule, but I didn't know that there was a rule in 11-man. Maybe agreement between both schools. Um you know, sometimes you just can't help it. Coach Hurt does a great job when you, when he gets ahead of substituting players. Uh, you know, when a game's won, when a game is won, you wanna, you don't want to embarrass the other team. Um, I've never been a firm believer of trying to embarrass anybody. Uh, there's so many things you can do. Uh, we've got a lot of substitutes and young players on the sidelines to give them some experience. So. You always kind of want to give your starters plenty playing time to kind of keep in shape. Uh, <laughs> to keep in shape. Um, quick looks like again. another quick kick again on fourth down, and Cheryl's just going to let it roll out of bounds at about the 41-yard line where Zebras will take over. That's probably one of the best plays they've had yet. Yes, that's, that was a good punt there by their quarterback. Um, that, their quarterback punts it a lot better than uh, their punter. Yeah, I just got a call here from Dave Jones. 
Uh, he's live from uh, San okay. Las Vegas. He just he just can't stay away, folks. He's gotta gotta be part of the process. Dave. Hey, hey, hey coach, how you doing without me? Good. I got you on the air right now. We're hey, we're up twenty-eight to nothing. Hello. We we just throw a slip screen here to Cheryl, Cheryl on the left. Cheryl up the sidelines. He makes one cut. He's to the 25, the 20, the 10. He scores. Touchdown, Brooke Cheryl on the slip screen. And that is an bank first. Zebra touchdown. Zebra touchdown, as Matt Mason says. Yes. Hey, don't forget Carol Cheryl. Grandma. Okay, okay, okay. I got her. Okay, bye. never know what you're going to get on this show, do you? Yes, it's live. <laughs> live entertainment, folks. That was Dave Jones calling from Las Vegas. Is he really in Vegas? I don't know where he is. I'm just making that up, folks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hand me my pen, please. Oh, yeah. He keeps carrying it. Brooke Sherrill, that was a uh, one-play drive. Nice, play. nice catch. Nice move up the sidelines and a great cut over the middle to go the distance. Um, I don't know how far it was. Anybody get how far that was? I'm going to say it was about 62 yards, something That's about like right. that. That's about right. It went out to 41, so that'd be 59 yards. Um, this is going to be a, uh, a stat packer tonight. Yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Jones's mom, Carol. I know she's watching out there, watches every Friday night. Uh, that's why he called me from Vegas to make sure I gave her a shout out, and I told him I'd do that. Uh, I'm glad he reminded me because I didn't want to go back on my, you know, promise. I promised him I'd do it. So I hope you're doing well and doing fine. Uh, give a good shout out to her. I know. Uh, she sure has a nice son and our daughter-in-law. I'm not for sure about the son, but the daughter-in-law is awful nice. But a good shout out to her. Ooh. Fielded there Big and hit. brought out to the 15. Nice hit there out of bounds. I think it's Brazel. I believe, well, the 33 may have been there first. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hoke. Uh, that's not Hoke. That's, uh, yeah, that's Hoke. That Hoke. Hoke and uh, Brazel there. I'm not sure which one got there first, but somebody put the leather to them there at the 24-yard line. Nice hit. Uh, both those guys won't run around you. They won't run through you. They're not real big, but they'll hit you. They'll light you up. Yeah, Brazel, you know, they're one of the first families we met when we moved here about okay. 11 years ago. Good, oh, very good. Good, good family. Very good. Looks like we got a few subs in. Got another linebacker in, number 84, Andrew Beam. Deep pass. Everybody lost it. Incomplete. It's overthrown. Overthrown. Connor there on the play. And uh, is that Hazelwood still at the corner? I mean, Wizen Hunt. I'm sorry, Wizen Hunt. That's number. Is that 18? 18, Jason Coger. Yeah. Yeah, that's a different corner. It's in there. I keep seeing that 18. That, that That's the mm -hmm. number my son wore last yeah. year. Yeah. So. Thomas Mason. Yeah. Shout out to Thomas Mason. Yeah. Down there. He's down there in Texas, isn't yep. he? They're throwing another screen that they missed. In incomplete. Looks like we're ready for that one. Keo Penn and Ethan Grimmett. And uh, 84, uh, Trenton James in the game at a linebacker. Uh, Third and ten. Third and ten, big down. Zebras get the ball back here if we hold them. Quarterback back to pass. He's going deep. Nice high ball. Incomplete, thrown out of bounds. Nice coverage over there, Ryan Connor and Brazel. Uh, somebody else over there too. Do you, you think they'll do another quarterback kick? I believe so. That's been more effective than their punt team. Uh, 
Taj Alcozer. Is number, that how you say that? Number 11. Number 11 is back deep for the Zebras. Instead of Cheryl, oh. Oops, he snapped it over the quarterback's head. It's rolling to the end zone. He's trying to take it out. Oh, my. Man. Oh. That center uh, definitely ate his Wheaties before he came tonight because he snapped that one clear over the quarterback's head. That, um, was, that was Spencer Lewis that got yeah, that tackle. That, that quarterback might have been better just to take that and run out of the back of the end zone. We got the ball on the two-yard line here. Oh, my. Looks like uh, maybe 38's going in at tailback. That's Caden Robertson. That's Lulu's grandson. Uh, JR's grandson. But 84 right here. He's got the ball going in the end zone. Is that 84? Trenton James. That was, yeah. Number 84, Trenton James, senior. Glad to see him getting the end zone there, folks, over the right side. It's pretty exciting for a senior to get a you touchdown. You betcha. You betcha. He stays out. Part of the team works hard just like everybody else. It's always nice to get a chance to score. 53 going in a little late, but he's going in. That's On the jet. extra point team, yes. Jet Woods. Nice snap. Oh, you, for, you forgot Kick to say. Good. You oh, to say oh, kind of, oh, that was uh, bank first. Uh, zebra touchdown. Yeah, sorry, bank first. We've, we've had so many here in the first half. 7.37 to go, and the Zebras are up 42 to zero. It's kind of a little lopsided on the banks tonight. Yes, it is. Uh, we've had more touchdowns than first downs. That's not usually the case. Um I don't think that's what RCB Bank signed up for. So. Well, hey, they've gotten they've gotten their book this season. Uh, before this, so, so can you give shout outs to anybody on this show? Well, as long as it's appropriate. Uh, okay. Now we've gotten quite a few tonight. I just got one for Jayla Hurt, which is Coach Hurt's uh, oldest daughter, I think. She's at college, and I think watching on TV. Uh, I'm just impressed she knows how to get it on TV. You know, I don't know that I would know how to YouTube it. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, just give a shout-out to her. I know she's always been and always will be a big Zebra fan. Just a shout-out to her and wish her well. Nice kick. Uh, it rose Ooh. dead at the two-yard line. It oh, doesn't go man. out of bounds. That's a great oh, kick. Oh, my lands. Oh, my lands. Uh, you know, when it goes bad, it goes bad. That that ball stopped on about the two-yard line. It looked like it was going out of bounds, and it just died. Okay. I think right now, with it being 42 to nothing, I think they're going to start uh, with a rolling clock, so we'll go pretty fast here the rest of the half, uh, which I am an advocate of when the game is in hand. Uh, so the clock's going to run. Uh, it's not going to stop, so it'll go pretty fast here, and hopefully they'll do that the second half as well. Let's see if we can get a safety. Whoa, Whoa. my lands, I believe so, yes. Yep. We just snapped it over <laughs> his head. thing about it is if you don't tell him you snapped it over his head, chances are he may do it again, and he just did it again. That went out of the back of the end zone, so Zebra scored two points there. <clears throat> we'll get the ball back. Uh, and then they're going to kick off from their own 25. And the Zebras will get good field position here. Yeah. Uh, might be, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, first time that they kick off tonight. They'll probably kick off again at, after the half because we deferred. That's right. We'll get the ball back. So, so uh, maybe, maybe two kickoffs. Yes. Now, speaking of shout-outs, uh, if we can give one to anybody, and there's two of them i like to do. One of them is uh, a local hero, uh, Lance Holm. I think he was a legend on the Zebra football field back in the 80s. Okay. And uh, his son plays football with my son in the ninth grade. And okay, so, very good. You know, very good. Good, good, 
good family, the home family. Must have been early 80s. <laughs> I think it was. Because I came in 85. I don't remember that name. Lance Holm. No. Know, maybe maybe he's not as much as a legend as he, as he thought he was. He claims to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, it must have been early 80s. Yeah, he's got a lot of good stories. Oh, he does? Yeah. Okay. Well, so does Chad Choate. <laughs> you just can't believe them all, you know? <laughs> That's a whole other category. <laughs> yeah. Well, good deal. Good deal. So, what's his son play? Gunner. Gunner is um, he's, a, he's a D back. Okay, very good. And uh, he's a gamer. Okay. Pretty good kid. Good. Yeah. Very good. Well, we look forward to watching him in the next few years. Ninth grade football team had a great year. Talking to Drew earlier. Yep. Fair catch there by number 19. Short kick, Tate Helper. Hepler. Hepler, Hepler. I mean. <laughs> I can't read up here tonight, folks. Uh, that's Tate Hepler. Uh, Zebra's got great field position there. They start at the uh, Hell Ranger 49-yard line. Yeah, uh, you watch uh, ninth grade play this year. You give us a report how well they did. So, yeah, that, that group of kids has, has been successful over the years and um, had a really good year this year. This, this is the first year when the Justice – Tywood kids come in and join the okay. Claremore kids, and they went seven and one. Very good, very good. That's a great year. Scott's still in there at quarterback. Don't no, play. that's a new quarterback, and that is number nineteen, which is uh, the one that just fair caught it, Mister Hepler. Tate Hepler. Tate Hepler is a. Uh, is that a 10th grader, 5'9", 145? Yes. He made about uh, three. I think his younger brother is on the ninth grade, too, Zane. Okay. And uh, I coached him in lacrosse Okay. a few years ago. Well, there's some Heplers that came through about 20 years ago, some boys. Looks like they got their linebackers coming. Oh, Whoops, bad that's snap. a bad snap. He picks it up. Number 84. Broken play. Mm, somebody mm. trying to steal the ball from him. Yep. Um, that's Trenton James. Well, we had a bad snap there. Looks like we got a whole different offense out there. That may be our JV offense is what it looks like. Number 70 out there. Uh, Dawson Coppinger, he's a sophomore. Um, number 50, Samuel Cotner. He's an old J-tier. Um, he's a sophomore. Dylan Evans, number 64. Uh, he's a junior. Garrett Peterson, Tight center. trips. Quarterback keeper. There's a nice gain over the right side. He made about seven. That's going to bring up fourth down and about six. Jaden Spar, number 72. Fourth and seven. Uh, fourth and six. Or a long six, yeah. Uh, for the Zebras right here in front of their bench. Uh, got 10 seconds to get the playoff. Got to call timeout. Yeah, if we don't hurry up and get lined up. Three, two, one. Got it, got off. it off. Barely. Broken play. Broken play. And if oh, fumble. fumble. The ball and the Almost Rangers are going to take over. Yeah. He would have been running up the sidelines between here. And yeah. If he just we hold on the ball, he just barely got the ball knocked out of his hand. It's one of those the rest of your life you'll be thinking, yes. what if? So, JV offense looked a little rusty there. Bad snap, uh, put them way back in the hole. Uh, Rangers will take over at the at their own 26-yard uh, line. They use their 36. final time out of the half with 10 seconds to go. Uh-oh. We got uh, halftime. Homecoming festivities coming up. Well, we had uh, half. We had the homecoming festivities for the game. Or something's going on at halftime. I'm not sure what all's going on, but I know before the game they announced the king and the queen, 
Uh, I guess if you weren't able to watch it on ZTV, I think we had it on ZTV here, but Brooke Sherrill got the most votes and became the king, and Faith Stone is the uh, queen. So congratulations to both of them and all the royalty and all the representatives that were picked and represented their organization or their club. Zebras are loosened up. Number Different quarterback. quarterback. He rose to the right, and he's run out of bounds with four seconds to go in the half. But he did make about a third, um, 13 yards, made a first down. Two seconds left. Ball's out. Somehow we went from four to two. I don't know after he went out of bounds. Shout out to Coach Smith out there. I know he's watching, unless he's falling asleep by now. But uh, every time I look at the clock, I always think of him. See, you ran the clock here for years and years. John Smith. Yes, yes. Just a shout out to him, Coach Smith. Got a lot of respect for the man. Very successful junior high coach. Oh, looks like a hold on the play, yes. but they didn't call it. That's the end of the half right there, though. Yeah. Tackled by number 47 right there, which is Wes Wesley Baxley. Tackle him here. That's the end of the half, folks. Zebras are ahead 44-0. to zero. Uh, Zebras go in at halftime uh, with the biggest lead that they've had all year. Um, to warm up. To warm up, uh, stick around and you watch our band perform. Uh, at this time, at this time, uh, are we going to see the band? We're, we're going to go to we're going to go to a quick commercial of one of our sponsors, and then we're going to watch the band here. Uh, stick around, get you some coffee and. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate and watch us the second half, folks. Thank you. At RCB Bank, you are not just a number. You are our neighbor, friend, coworker, PTA partner, business owner down the street, and so much more. We value our relationship with you. We are here to serve you at any of our locations or online at rcbbank.com. With over 50 locations.
ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the award winner, Tamar Beaver Marching Band. Tonight, the Beaver Marching Band will be performing Proud Mary. Adrian Curtin, serving the Beaver Band Director, is David Mudd. Assistant Band Director is Greg Curran. Adrian Curtin is Color Guard Coordinator. Gage Dutcher, the Drumline Tech, with front of ensemble assistance by the illustrious Katie Kurtz. Drum majors Allison Hardy and Oprah Kelly is your band ready. is marching band. And now, folks, we're excited here on homecoming. Part of our special needs includes our parade and our float contest. We have two sponsors tonight that have donated their uh, or a prize to the winning class of our floats. The first is AAK this year to help judge the homecoming float, and this is the, this year's alumni award. The alumni award this year for the winning float goes to the senior class. Next.
next up. We are excited to be able to announce the results of the 2020 Homecoming Poet Competition. Be sure RCB Bank sponsors the Homecoming Parade and donates money for each class to help with their plate. The process also includes having outside judges to come and judge the plate and pick a winner. The floats were available for viewing during the Homecoming Parade earlier today, and hopefully you were all able to get a look at all the students' hard work. Representatives from each class will be on the field as we announce the winner. Claremore alum and RCB Bank Senior Executive VP Tim Cutsinger will be on the field to present the trophy. So, with that being said, our fourth place winner, the junior class. Our third place winner, the freshman. Our second place winners, the sophomore class, which means this year's first place winners are the senior class. They win both the RCB and the AHH Air Cooler Award. Congratulations, senior class. Introducing the brand new app for Claremore Public Schools on Android and iPhone. It's everything Claremore in your pocket. This is the home screen. Tap the school's icon in the top right or swipe left to select a specific school. Tap the three horizontal lines in the top left or swipe right to see all the menu items. To turn on push notifications, tap settings and select turn on notifications. You can even pick which school to receive notifications from. The cafeteria menu is listed under dining. Here you'll find an easy to navigate weekly menu sorted by day and meal type. Live feed is where you'll find updates from administration about what's going on in the district right now. Whether that's celebrating a student's success or reminding you about an upcoming deadline. Search Claremore Public Schools Oklahoma in the App Store or Play Store to explore the app for yourself. It's everything Claremore in your pocket. The Osage Indians were first to settle these Oklahoma hills, named for an Osage chief which the French traders pronounced Claremont. It then became the Cherokees' new home in Indian Territory until settlers arrived and the town was christened Claremore. But it would find fame and considerable affection as Will Rogers' hometown. Will said, folks make towns, not numbers, and he surely had Claremore in mind. But we imagine he'd agree that folks, not numbers, also make banks. Now it's hard to find a bank with better numbers than bank firsts. But it's our people who will earn our place in this town. Their mission is to move Claremore forward and never fail to make Will proud. Bank first. Loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. RCB Bank is a community bank. We don't just sponsor events, we participate. We are sensitive to the needs of our community and we respond accordingly. We serve communities all around Kansas and Oklahoma and have been doing so since 1936. If you already bank with us, you know the benefits of having your local bank right next door. RCB Bank is dedicated to not just sponsoring events, but participating and growing them for the benefit of the community. Open an account with us to see why so many people are saying, RCB Bank, that's my bank. At RCB Bank, you are not just a number, you are our neighbor, friend, co-worker, PTA partner, business owner down the street, and so much more. We value our relationship with you. We are here to serve you at any of our locations or online at rcbbank.com. With over 50 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, we're everywhere you need us to be. 
RCB Bank is your hometown community bank interested in your financial well-being. RCB Bank, that's my bank. Introducing the brand new app for Claremore Public Schools on Android and iPhone. It's everything Claremore in your pocket. This is the home screen. Tap the school's icon in the top right or swipe left to select a specific school. Tap the three horizontal lines in the top left or swipe right to see all the menu items. To turn on push notifications, tap settings and select turn on notifications. You can even pick which school to receive notifications from. The cafeteria menu is listed under dining. Here you'll find an easy to navigate weekly menu sorted by day and meal type. Live feed is where you'll find updates from administration about what's going on in the district right now. Whether that's celebrating a student's success or reminding you about an upcoming deadline. Search Claremore Public Schools Oklahoma in the App Store or Play Store to explore the app for yourself. It's everything Claremore in your pocket. Now that was the perfect last bite. What made it so perfect? Let's back up. There's crispy bacon and two melty cheeses on top of the two all beef patties. Yes. And then there's the cruncher. The smooth, roasted heat of all those grilled hatch green chilies. The new limited time hatch green chili bacon burger. Perfect. Right down to the first bite. Good thing there's Whataburger. Available by dining, drive through curbside, and delivery. Fans on Tuesday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. Whataburger here in Claremore will donate a portion of all sales to the Claremore Public Schools Foundation. Please have dinner over at Whataburger and support the Claremore Public Schools Foundation. Fans, Claremore Schools and the Zebra Band are, off, are proud to offer concessions at the east end of the field as well as behind the home stands. Plenty of eats and drinks can be found in both areas, so head on over to the Zebra Concession Stand and get your eats. Also, Zebra Fanatics, are you ready for some football? Show your support by heading over to the Quarterback Club Merchandise Trainer and purchasing all your Zebra gear. You can get the latest in Zebra swag, including t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and more. Get all your red and white zebra gear at the trailer sitting just outside of the west end zone. Testing one, two, I'm still on the outside. 
We're on. We're on. We're back. We're back here. ZTV for the second half for the Claremore Zebras. Tulsa Hell Rangers football game. Um, zebras came out and have warmed up and ready to take the field, and the Hell Rangers just walked out. So I don't know if they're going to warm up or they're just going to take the field and go with it. I don't know, folks. I do know the Zebras are up 44 to zero. And I do know we're gonna have a running clock the second half here. So this second half is gonna go quick, um, rightfully so. Um, game over by 8.45, you think? Yes, game will be over pretty soon. Uh, barring many timeouts, um, I would say Hell will probably take theirs. Um, I'm going to say we'll see a lot of players play this half. I don't think we'll see many starters on the field. Who's our deep guy? Uh, looks like. Uh, Is it Razzle? No, that's. Uh, no, it's. I think it's Red Hightower. Yeah, Red Hightower. He's a sophomore. It looks like they're going to kick from the left hash. I can't read that number. It looks like uh, 18 maybe for the Hell Rangers. That's the quarterback. Yeah, Caballero. Ca Caballero. Caballero. He's going to kick from the 40, Ooh, and it's an he's... onside kick. Oh, we got it, it. It's right there at the 50. Our guy fields it and falls down on it, number 48. And that's Blake Hoagland. Nice job there, Blake. Blake's gotten taller. He's a JT. -er. On the kick for Claremont. Ex -JT -er. Number He's a JT. -er. Graduated from JT. So it looks like Hightower is going to stay in at running back. Okay, we've got number three going in there, Hunter Wood. 19 going in. That's Tate Hepler. So it kind of looks like the JV offense that was at the last is going in right now. We got tight. One split left, one split right, up back on the right. He's taking it wide, number 27, over the right side there. Enough for a first down, about a 14-yard gain. What kind of first down and is that? That's an RCB. New ball here. Bank number zebra first down. Red Hightower. <laughs> that's number 27, Red Hightower. Nice run there. He takes it up to the 36. First down, was he, Zebras. Was he looking like his brother? Jace. Uh, he's a little smaller than Jace, but he did pick up good yardage there. Uh, he is a 5'8", 140 sophomore. That was just a kind of a nice uh, handoff. Quarterback keeper there right up the middle. Pretty quick. Didn't nice really get game. the trap block right there. Uh, that's number 19, Tate Hippler. Um, about a four-yard gain, three-and-a-half-yard gain. Pick up of about three. It's going to bring up second and seven for the Zebras. About second down and seven for the Zebras. It's going to be a quick half, folks. The clock just continuing to run. And I imagine the Zebras will keep it on the ground most of the time. Looks like we got power play to the left. He's tackled in the backfield. He's dropped immediately. That's a loss on the play of about three. It's gonna bring up third down Back and 10. To the original line of scrimmage, it's gonna bring up third down and 10. What do you think, Mr. Mason? Well, I think you're right. This is gonna be over pretty quick. And uh, where are we at? Third down and nine. So if we can, the question is down here on the 36 yard line, will we go for, go for it on fourth down if we don't get it? And Rhett is stopped short. Pepper hands off the high brought him there. For no gain. That's a loss of about a half a yard. So what do you think? We're gonna go for it. Number down. 54, Eric King. He's a sophomore for Nathan Hill, making a tackle there in the backfield, fourth and 11. Um, you know, Hale, their line looks pretty big. They got some big kids. Mm -hmm, they do on defensive line here. They got several big kids. 
We got Bill Embry out there split out wide left. He's a J-tier. Tight trips to the right, fourth and 11. Looked like they're off sides at the top. Go, go. Mm. Turnover. They were off sides at the top, but no flags on the play. The end at the top slowed the play down. And uh, for no game, and the Rangers will take over on downs. I imagine the officials are wanting to get the game over with as well. Um, we got some new numbers there on defense as well. We've got 69, who is Hayden Spurlock, which was one of our captains tonight. We got 11 out of corner, which is Taj Alcozer. I can't read the number at the top. Number 18. Looked like Young is at free safety, 40. 40 is an end or an outside oh, linebacker at the top. Bill Embry. That's our first yep. charge timeout of the half. Got Rangers Jade. are taking a timeout. Jaden Shackelford. Yeah, 48 there. down here at the no, bottom is an outside it's backer. That's Blake Hoagland. What made it so perfect? His aunt. Uncle are watching from Kansas and tonight. And then there's the clincher. The Glad to see him on the field. He's starting to grow. <laughs> Um, now this is yeah, this is a good opportunity for a lot of the underclassmen to get some playing time. You betcha. Under, under the Friday night lights here, good good uh, experience. Number 23, Jaden Shackelford or Jadon. Jadon, I coach. 63. I, I coached him in lacrosse. As Spencer well. Lewis. 40s dropping off. Oh, Looks like we got number four. Oh, good oh, tackle. Nice, oh, fumble. Nice tackle, 84 on the play. Looked like they called him down. That's Trent, Trenton James. Trenton here. James, senior, knifing in there, making Trent a tackle James. for a loss. Nice play there. Nice defensive play. We've got uh, 23 in there. 23. Well, That's Jadon Shackelford. I've said that a while ago. Is that 60? Who else you see out there? Yeah, number number 60. 60 that, is that's Cord, Cord Muncy. Yeah, he's an old J tier. Glad to see him oh, out there. We got a bad snap. snap. Let's see if Jadon can get him. 23. Jadon got him there. And he number and Cord, 60. Cord yeah. Muncy both in on the tackle. They're going the wrong direction. I don't know where we're going. The ball's way up there. 69 is in there. 69, uh, Hayden Spurlock. Is in there number 44. Is in the game. I believe Kate That's Ryan Eddy, number 44. Uh, I think that about After takes care of about all of them. Third down and 22. Let's see what they do on Two backs 21. in the backfield. They got a we different got quarterback. The snap. Now number four is a quarterback. Oh, oh. He's holding the ball out wide. He's a pretty good runner. They got oh, him. nice tackle there. 69, nice. and the one on the other side is 23. Jay is that Jadon? Jadon, yeah. Jadon made the tackle, and 63 on the help of Spencer Lewis. Brings up fourth down, and I'm going to say about 20. Well, they, don't, they don't have their punt. 21. They don't have their punting quarterback in there. No, so. they don't. So I don't know if four can punt or not. But uh, we don't put anybody back but the back judge. Oh, he is in there. He is in Okay. There. But it doesn't look like he's getting the snap. So okay. they're going for it. They're going what do you got to lose? And 18. They're going, going deep. For it. Oh, they're screen. screen. Ooh. Oh, almost. Almost intercepted there. Bill Embry. Yeah, Bill Embry about had that snuck out. Zebras are going to take over on the short side of the field. Uh, JB offense, it looks like. They've kind of had a few positive plays and a few negative plays, and he's whining it, folks. Hey, David. Yes, sir. Do, do you have brothers? I've got two brothers. Do you? I, yes. I got one that keeps texting me. He does. He wanting attention. Yeah, one in Jonesboro, Arkansas. His name is Scott, but I call him Scotty. 
and, and a few other names, but uh, <laughs> he's, he's my big brother. He is. Yeah, he's still he's still my big brother. Oh, oh he's gone over the right side. Quarterback trap this way. Uh, he pushed out of bounds at about the five yard line. And that's Hepler down to the five yard line. It's a good run. Nice call there, but a good run by the JV quarterback uh, down to the five. Go ahead. No, no. He that's just, an RCB. That's first down. RCB Bank first down. Yeah, there you go. Not many there of them tonight. No, there's not. <laughs> More touchdowns than we got first downs. Okay, go ahead about your brother. Yeah, no, he was, he was, he was, we, there were three of us, and he's my next older brother, and uh, he lives in Jonesboro, and uh, uh, he's listening tonight. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. They can get internet over there in Arkansas. <laughs> goes in for the score. Touchdown. That's a bank first. Zebra touchdown. Very good. Hepler goes in over the left side. I think pretty much untouched for a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, he married our cousin Valerie, and um, your cousin? No, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> She's not our cousin. Okay. Well, I, I get that a lot every time I say I'm from Arkansas. So. Is he in banking? No, he's a. Uh, oh, he, big number fifty-four comes through, pushes our kicker down. Nothing called. No Seventy-four good. blocks a punt or kick, and then he pushes our kicker down. And nothing called. That puts it to 50 to nothing. 5.25 to go in the third quarter. Zebras go up 50 to nothing here. Folks, uh, really hadn't been close any part of the game. I, I think uh, Tulsa Hale has, has lost interest. So. Well, does your brother listen a lot or just tonight because you're on the air tonight with me? I, I think he's looking for a good story to tell on me. So, uh, I literally talked to him. Um, no, I, uh, he, he doesn't usually listen much. He did. He, he probably does. When, you know, when Drew plays next year, he'll probably listen. My my okay. parents and so forth. My mother-in-law is listening from, oh, very good. from Bentonville, Linda. Well, shout out to Linda. There you go. I feel for her having to put up with you. <laughs> For over 25 years. Oh, my land. That's out of bounds. Well, we kicked that one out of bounds. They finally got a break. <laughs> Seemed like all the bounces tonight went to Zebra's way. That one goes out of bounds, and the Rangers will take over the 35-yard line. Well, I'll tell you this. I know, I know you and I both married up. I'm married way up. Uh, yeah. You know, I wasn't going to say that. But, yeah. uh, um, and, yes, I, I weigh, as, as my coach used to say, I, I, I outkicked my coverage. Yes, I did, too. You know, I married a valedictorian. Uh, I had to go four years younger in order to get one, you know. <laughs> Real smart lady. Uh, Rangers go over the right side uh, for a small gain, uh, trying to get the numbers. They're in on the tackle there. Kind of hard to get. I want to say number 50 might have been in on the tackle. Mr. Cotner, Mr. Samuel Cotner. Samuel Cotner, yeah. Glad to see him still after it. His dad, his dad is Danny Cotner. Danny Cotner, he's a J-tier. Uh, Danny, you won't find a nicer guy. He's a pastor of uh, uh, the church that meets in our school building out there, New Creation. And, uh, he's on the he's on the Baptist Disaster Recovery Team. Yes, he is, and man, he's uh, that's what he does for a living is uh, trim trees and cut trees down. I've never seen a guy so uh, talented as far as trying to keep. Uh, we got a timeout on the field for an injury, folks. Um, looks like a lower leg injury, uh, but he, uh, Danny can pretty much drop a limb or drop a tree anywhere you want to drop it, keep it off your pool, your fence, or over your house. Uh, he just very, he's got pulleys and he knows how to drop it. He climb a tree, he can climb a tree like a monkey. 
Yeah, he's uh, even even at his age now. He's very very talented, very honest man. Uh, I could recommend him highly if you needed anything trimmed. Yeah, uh, but just know. a great guy, great guy. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Second down and second about what eight? That was one of their main running backs, number four, that was limped off the field. Yeah, he's so. been playing a little quarterback there, so yeah. they brought in the original quarterback. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fumble. Ball on the ground again. Looks, Looks like, like they recovered back. it. 69 was there. Hayden Spurlock. Very good. 54 recovered it. So in order for him to know it was a fumble, he had to be turned around backwards. You know, the handoff looked good to the running back. I don't know, the running back just didn't get a handle on it. Third down. Third down, you hear those bells in the background. That's something that the PA announcer here uh, plays every third down on our opponent. Twins to the top, twins to the bottom. We got run up the middle. Looks nope. like he got the first. First down. Nice run up the middle there. Ranger ball carrier takes it up to the 48. First down, Rangers. Got a new player, number 29 in there. Is that a corner? Yep, Darius Marshall. He's a senior. Darius Marshall. Pretty tall. 38's in there. Caden Robertson. Looked like an outside linebacker, 63, 63. being dragged. Yep. He hung on to him. 63 in on the tackle. Spencer Lewis, he takes it up near along with a couple of other zebras. It's gonna bring up second down and three. 60 checking Cordray. in, Cord Muncie back in. And we're down to three minutes in the third quarter. Okay. Second down and about three for the Rangers. Looks like Parsons in there at free safety. 27. Rhett Hightower's in there at a linebacker. Quarterback, Quarterback keeper. He's just picking a oop, hole and oop, going. Oop, oop, oop. He's Come got on. a first down. Finally drug him. Making Brought down by number 38, Caden Robertson. By Caden Robertson. Ball carrier with Caballero. First you ever deal down, much with Rusty, Rangers. his dad? Yes. I uh, coached him in high school. Uh, just a uh, very unselfish player, worked very hard. Great guy. Uh, yeah, do, do whatever he needed to do for the team. It's kind of like he's, he's that way for the quarterback club. He, he's uh, Yeah. Great Just, asset. Yeah. Pass. Going deep. Overthrown. Overthrown. Ranger pass. Uh, Rusty's mom and dad, uh, JR. And I always down. call her Lulu, <laughs> the little colonel. Uh, she was the principal out at Westside for years. Yes, when I, when I was coaching here, that was when they moved in from Houston. And uh, they were an asset Hayden to Hatchback our booster club. Uh, back then, yeah, just very, very kind, very supportive, do whatever it takes to get the job done and help the kids. Very nice people. Several zebras in on the tackle, 47 I know was in there. Is it Wesley Baxley? Yes, along with several others. Um, a gain of about Five. We got a hell player, another hell player down. This is the second one and a, Timeout. a few plays. Before I think that's the, the quarterback. An yes. On the field. It's going to bring up third down and about five. Yeah, they've got seven, seven players on the sideline, so or eight players on the sideline, so they're, they, they're well, they pretty got, thin. They got two over there on the bench. They got more players on the sidelines and stands, fans in the stands. So. Yes, they didn't bring too many. Almost 
to look through. One forty one to go here in the quarter. While we have this uh, timeout, Josh Drager's fifth anniversary, and he's watching. And Josh Drager, I'm asking you this: If it's your anniversary, why are you watching a 40, 50 to nothing <laughs> football game? I don't know who you are, but if it's my anniversary, I wouldn't be watching this. I'd be having dinner and having dessert by now. Uh, it, it may, but how happy long anniversary. Been, how long has he been married? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's his fifth anniversary. Oh, fifth anniversary. Okay. I'd say five I didn't, years. I didn't hear that. I was uh, looking at a text from my yeah. other brother. Yeah. How about, Mr. Johns, we take a, take a break right now while we uh, uh, taking time out. Folks, we'll take a time out for a word from our sponsors. RCB Bank is a community bank. We don't just sponsor events, we participate. We are sensitive to the needs of our community and we respond <laughs> accordingly. There you go. We serve communities all around Kansas and Oklahoma and have been doing so since 1936. If you already bank with us, you know the benefits of having your local bank right next door. RCB Bank is dedicated to not just sponsoring events, but participating and growing them for the benefit of the community. Open an account with us to see why so many people are saying, RCB Bank, that's my bank. And we're back, folks, here. Third and third down and about five for the Rangers. New quarterback, number 22, straight ahead. He got the first. Looks like he got the first down, just taking the ball and going straight ahead. That's number 22, Cody Collins. 5'10", 152-pound sophomore, just took the ball straight ahead, first down at the 21-yard line, uh, just running straight ahead. Looks like we got 77 in there now, a one defensive tackle. That's Ezra Boisel trying to get these numbers as they shuffle them in. They had a right tackle moving. Uh, he was stopped for about a one-yard gain depending on the spot. It looks like uh, they're going to be doing a lot of quarterback keepers. So look, look like it looked like to me might be the easiest Thank thing. Looked like a one yard gain there. Uh, 72 at a, a nose guard there. 72 is Jaden Spar. I think he might have been the one in on the tackle there. Uh, Gordon Muncy got a taste of an older lineman there. He's got a big old boy lined up in front of him at the right tackle. Oh, they're passing. Turn around. Mm. Bad throw there. Were, receivers ran into each throw. other. Receivers ran into each other. I think everybody ran straight Ranger down the field. Falls incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and nine for the – uh, Third down. And well, that might have been number 50, not 60. It's hard to tell with these numbers. So that might have been Samuel Cotner, not uh, Cord Muncy on that end up there. Right. They've got twins at the top, twins at the bottom, one back in the backfield, 22 at the quarterback. They're in motion every play. He takes it, and... That's the end of the third quarter. He didn't get the first down. He did not. It's going to bring up fourth and short. I bet they go for it. Got an injured player oh, on they got the another. Field. Another injured Time player out. on the field. I don't know where the spot is. And that's like he's hurt. Looks like they're going to give him a first down, but I sure thought he was way short. Yeah. I thought he was two yards short. That kid's not moving. I think the referees like this game to move along, too. Yes. He's rolling over now. He's sitting up. That's a good sign, folks. Most injuries that we've had, you can kind of tell it's a lower leg injury, and this one I couldn't really tell. This might be a shoulder. Kind of hard to tell. How are your shoulders? Well, I got one week. 
and one's weaker. <laughs> Actually, uh, I've been doing a little treadmill in here lately and a little lifting here lately, and I've got one that I uh, had operated on about 35 years ago, and it's just been getting weaker and weaker, so I started lifting on it here about a month ago and just trying to get it a little stronger. I know it's kind of away from my body. It's just a little lot weaker. I think it's, it, so you know, as I've gotten older, you, you, you got to keep start doing that. It. Yeah, yeah. Or, or you start hurting. So just kind of doing lightweight, just kind of doing a little lifting there in my son's room. I've got some brand new weights in his room that were never used. <laughs> it's a good uh, thought. Yeah, it was a good thought, you know, uh, at the time. But, uh a lot of them, uh, sisters, sisters taken, you know. Well, they got fourth, and no, I guess they gave them a the first down there. So, you well, know, they got fourth down. It says fourth down. They just ain't got, got the markers got, lined got them up yet. Set up here. I don't know what it, fourth and one or two is what I would have had. Okay, we've already gotten 17 seconds off the clock, and uh, they're we're trying to, they're still trying to get trying their, to, Now he's winding them again. We and we got fourth and one or less than one here. I don't know. I got a great spot on that play. Uh, we got snap straight up the middle, and I believe they're going to push him yeah, forward. They're going to get the first. They got the first down. First we had him stop before. We had him stop short, 70. and he just kept on going forward. Dawson. Number Coppinger. 70 hit him there first. Uh, Dawson Coppinger first, and they were able to kind of push forward and get the first down. It's first and go from the nine. Tulsa Hale's got another. First down. And they're not letting him go range. out. He looks hurt, but they're not letting him go out because I don't think they have a replacement for him. Yes, sir, trying to piecemeal everything together. Um, yeah. Now, getting old is, is, is pretty tough on the joints. And, yes. You know, I got another brother. He, uh, he, he's hurt his, his, his foot three times. So, David, my younger brother. David. Yeah. Oh, that's a oh we got fumble, a handoff. Fumble, fumble, I didn't fumble. get it. That was a loss on the play. I think they got it back. After the fumble, the ball is going to be placed back at the 16. Blake Hoagland jumped in there and tried to get a piece of it, but I think they got on it first. Here comes 57 in the game. That's Braden Hurst. I know I coached a Jacob Hurst here many years ago. Might be his son. Uh, looked like it's going to be first and goal from the 16. They tried a handoff there, Matt. <laughs> uh, this may be quarterback up the middle again. Might be up to the left side this time since the back is to the left. But they pass it. They were going I to. hear a whistle. They called timeout. <laughs> Timeout charge to Claremore. Oh, Claremore called a timeout. Well, he pointed to Yeah, he was pointing over there. Both Time teams are taking the timeout. Rangers. Rangers. Okay, here yeah, you go. I don't think so. PA announcer just had it wrong. <laughs> Mr. Gotcher. <laughs> he had it wrong over there. So they called a timeout. We're here 50 to 0, 9.45 to go, folks, in the last quarter. Um, We've been trying to find things to talk about because uh, this is a blowout here. So, so I, I was looking at some stats on Hale, and uh, the, the least any team so far this year has scored on them is 60 points. So we're, we're under the average right now. Okay. But uh, I don't believe we've had one starter play here in the second half. Yeah, we're probably a classier team than, than, than most. Well, I know Coach Hurt does a good job of pulling off of people. Um, Ooh, there's no blocking on that for Hale. Well, he, we got to make a tackle. Yep. There we go. We finally brought him down. Number seven. Making the stop for Claremont. Number seven and 27. Hightower. Hightower and number seven, David Hoagland. Both there on the tackle. David Hoagland is a J-tier that I know will hit you and light you up. He keeps getting taller. Uh, I don't know what they got him listed there, but they got him six foot. That's about right. He's grown since he's left JT, sophomore, a couple years ago. He's going to end up being a good player. Quarterback keeper. Mark my words. That there he is. 
He just kind of took the brunt of that one, but he made the tackle. David Hoagland and Blake Hoagland, both. They're not brothers. They're not kin to each other. So this Blake is fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Yes, fourth and goal here. I bet they go for it. <laughs> yeah, they will. Somebody's got a window open somewhere because this we got a draft up here somewhere. It's cold, getting cold in this room. Our heater's not working up here tonight, and I didn't dress for it. Did you, Matt? No, I'm not. It's too always bad. been kind of toasty up here tonight, but the heater's not working. My toes and my nose. We're gonna have to tell Mr. Uh, King at the the heater on our side it doesn't work, but the other room over it's about 30 degrees warmer. A lot uh, more hot air over there. Yes, there is. Uh, we got a timeout. Uh, Hale, Nathan Hale. Looks like the referee's not happy with that. He's ready to get it over with. <laughs> Looks Time like the. Nathan Hale. Oh, finally stopped the clock the there. Timeout of the game. We're going to take a timeout to, right now to listen from a word from our sponsors. Golly. The Osage Indians were first to settle these Oklahoma Amen. hills, named for an Osage chief, yeah. which the Please, French traders pronounced Claremont. It then became Tell the Cherokee's new you, home in Indian territory until settlers arrived I, and the town was christened Claremore. Oh, okay. But it would find so. fame and considerable affection as Will Rogers' hometown. Oh. <laughs> Will said, folks make towns, not numbers. And he, he surely he? had you know? Claremore in mind. But we imagine he'd agree that folks, not numbers, oh, okay. also make banks. Okay. Now, it's hard to find a bank with better numbers than bank firsts. But it's okay. our people who will earn our place in this I've never town. Heard of them. Their mission is to go. move Claremore forward we'll back and never yeah. fail to make Will Bass. proud. Bank first. Tip drill. Loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Ranger pass falls incomplete. Folks, we're back. Uh, the timeout was short. Uh, Hail Rangers threw it in the end zone, incomplete. Broken up. The Zebras will take over there at their own 13-yard line. They got a long ways to go. Clock is already, oops, he stopped it. We got an injured player on the field. Oh, I'm sorry. We got an injured player in the right corner of the end zone. I had a computer screen blocking me. Is that a, um, a hail player? Or? Uh, I can't tell. E we got people coming so. from the far side. So yeah. the zebra coaches are there, but we got people coming from the far side. So uh, I think it may be a hail player. You got Dr. Hardage down there. Uh, I see about eight people around them. So I see quite a few around them. Look like he's getting up. It's number eight. Number eight for Hale. Looks like he's getting up and walking off on his own. Jonathan Medina. Injured player from Tulsa. Hale is Jonathan Medina. For Medina, big round of applause for him. Medina or Medina. So it's so it's Zebra's ball. As we come back out of the timeout, Claremore will have the ball, first and ten on the thirteen. Zebra's snap the ball. Over the right side. Oh, oh, number 11. Oh, got loose. Number 11. That's good cut. Taj Alcozer. Yeah, Alcozer. New running back. Number 11, Taj Alcozer. Taj. Oh, no flag on the play. Nice run there. There's a flag on the play. Oh, come back. We got a flag on the play. Back at the 15. Got, got a holding. He's calling holding on us. I don't quite understand the holding when they've been in motion all night. But it's 50 to nothing. They're going to mark it half the distance to the goal. So it should be on about the six and a half yard line. Okay. Seven and a half. <laughs> Goes from the 13. Uh, 
We'll take it. Clocks are running. Six. First and uh, about 16. I'd run the same play again. We fumbled the snap, but he got up. Slow. Yeah, we fumbled the snap. Ball comes out. They're not going to call oh. it down. They're going to give They're it to him. Oh, we man. got 51 all over our player. Get off of Won't get off. He's done that a couple of times tonight. He'll just stay over the top of our player. And they look the other way. They let him do it. You know, the, the, these types of games have got to be tough for Ho for Coach Hurd. To yes. yes. 47 goes in, checks in for us. That's Wesley Baxley. We do have 11 out there. They got the ball first and goal at the four-yard line. They're in motion again. Look, he just tackled us. 51 just tackled us in the backfield. Look, if that's not a hold, I don't know what is. Right in front of the referee, he just tackles us. Well, 57 got that tackle for us. Yes, that's so, good. Um, 57, Braden Hurst. Yep. It's a good job they lost about two there. It'd be nice here for uh, these so, guys to keep them out of the end zone. Tatum Johnson. Big Tatum. He's a big kid. Yes. Tatum Johnson. Tatum is a sophomore, 6'4", 275. You know who his dad is, don't you? Uh, I'm not sure. Darren Johnson. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, now. There's a good job. That's a good job. Here went to Jordan Smith, new ball carrier for the Rangers. Maybe made about one there is about it. No gain on the play. Nice job there. Third down and goal for the Rangers. Yeah, I think uh, Tatum last year might be in his first year of football. This year's first this year. This year, okay, yeah. okay. So I'm glad he's out. Yes, I am too. I need to stay out. Every time I see him, I go, man, yeah. you're a big kid. You need yeah. to be playing football. Yeah. Number 64 is in there. Now 64, who's that? That's Dylan Evans. 325 and counting is third and goal. Oh. They're in motion again. Look like they're going to pass. I don't know. We had a whistle early. I don't know what we got going That's on. on the offense. It was legal procedure on the offense. Legal procedure yep. against the Rangers. That'll be a five-yard markup. So it's going to be third and go from the 11. Yeah, we're, we're, we're down almost two and a half minutes now. Yeah, I'm counting. Appreciate you letting me uh, sit by you tonight. Oh, glad you'd be here. It hadn't been a real exciting game. <laughs> um, so you're saying Dave Jones picked a good game to uh, go to Vegas, huh? Yes, uh, probably more enjoyable than last week. Uh, Probably uh, next week we travel to Sapapa. Then we end up, uh, looks like he's going wide left, cuts it back over the middle. Oh. Nice tackle there by number 48, Blake Hoagland. Uh, here goes 67 and 69 in the game. I believe the stop Sam is Larimer Blake Hoagland. and Hayden Spurlock. It's going to bring up. It's going to bring up three. fourth and goal the from the three. Fourth they and goal. It's homecoming. These kids are playing hard. It'd Let's be nice to blank them. Three. Yes, right here. That's a nice hard run by 22 there. Cody Collins for Hale. He'll probably be running again. Uh, he's running the same play again. Cuts it back. He got in. Stuck it across. I don't know if There's linesman no. saying he was down. No signal. Ball carrier was stopped short of the goal. Wow. First and goal zebras. I mean, first, right first down one. zebras. Yeah. Yes. We might want to get under center. Run quarterback sneak. They thought he got in. 
I think he stuck it across, but I thought his knee might have been down. And linesman, that's what he had. Zebra's having trouble getting an offense out there. First down, we might want to run a sneak, quarterback sneak here. We don't want to mishandle the ball. Two more plays, what we got. If we run this clock down here, or we maybe one more probably play. could, this could be it if we'd run it down, but we better get out of the end zone. No, I got safety. They got safety. us. Safety, yeah. With 25 well, seconds to go in the game. Safety. Run a quarterback sneak. You don't have that problem. Yeah, because we don't get under center very much, do we? No. I think you got to be able to just for times like that. Right there, you get under center. This game's over with. I don't know what the referees want to do. That's it. That's the game. They're done. That's going to be the end of the game here at homecoming with Claremore winning 50-2. to two. That's the end, folks. Uh, they're not going to have us kick off or do anything else. They ran the clock out. On Friday night, referee said that was it. We want to wish our so Zebras win here, 50 to two. Uh, really was over with in the first quarter, folks. Next way. week we travel to Sepulpa. Uh, then we end up here with here uh, with with uh, Prior. OSSAA came out this week with some new rules night, but due to the uh, due to. Uh, the number of games have been canceled because of COVID. Anybody wanting to play in the playoffs will be able to play in a playoff game. So uh, whether we're in the top four or not, we can still be able to. We'll have to be prior to get in the top four, but anybody wanting to play in the playoffs can. So, uh, But hopefully the next two weeks will be good games to watch and attend. Tonight wasn't uh, really much uh, watching. It was over with from the get-go. But thank you for staying with us. Uh, hope you stay warm and hope you have a safe weekend. And uh, hope the Hogs win this weekend. Hope the. I think they're off this weekend. Well, uh, you know, somehow the Cowboys keep climbing in the ratings and they haven't played in like a month. <laughs> you know, I mean, their quarterback's only played like, what, one series? He gets hurt and somehow they keep climbing in the ratings. So I don't know. But Boomer Sooner, hope you all have a safe weekend. Thanks for joining us here on ZTV. Good night. Signing off. Good night. Thanks for.